What up, what up, what up? It's your girl Free coming at you guys with another vlog. I actually want to say thank you to all my followers and supporters that have been viewing these interviews and making these motherfuckers go up and really taking the time to subscribe to my channel and fuck with me and follow me on Instagram. Honestly, this has been such a good experience for me. I didn't expect so many people to just jump on board and start following my shit so quickly and just catching on to it but i really appreciate it and i've gained so many subscribers when i started back making skits i think i had 6400 and i have like 6700 so i gained so much more subscribers i hence i hit 10k followers on instagram thank you guys for that like i've I already had 9000 something but it's cool to hit certain numbers that just lets me know that people genuinely fuck with me but today i haven't given you guys an exclusive vlog with just me and like on some chill kicking it cool vibes in a second because i've been so into just interview 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 but today i'm in the lovely city of where we at <laughs> uh san rafael san rafael it's close to oakland Vallejo area bay area i'm in the motherfucking bay y'all so y'all already know i'm gonna bring y'all some good interviews maybe but I'm here with my best friend. It's been a long time since me and her got some real good girl time to talk about shit. And I've been telling her already, you know, we was going to do the vlogs and you feel me? I was going to have her on an episode. So I'm definitely excited to have my best friend, Denisha, here to do a vlog with me. And yeah, we just going to talk our shit, period. That's what you feel me made niggas popping in the first place. So we're going to talk that real shit. I just want to say one motherfucking thing. I'm starting this bitch off tripping. Okay. First, the motherfucking all. The A&W. Is it the A&W, bitch? Yes. Yeah, the A&W is like San Rafael. Y'all oh motherfuckers. Y'all got a, another thing coming. She okay. She had me rolling. Y'all going to say this bullshit. I'm bringing it back tomorrow, bitch. She said that <laughs> this food. Been there since 10 a.m. It's been there all motherfucking day. Like, like she worked there. Listen. <laughs> I'm not. First of all, bitch, didn't nobody tell you put your trash in here. I'm trying to and take And she a, taking it back tomorrow. I'm trying to take a whole meal over here. She going to put her trash in here with the <laughs> shit. Now she messing the thing up. Look at this. Y'all tell me this was this started off old. This ain't moved a muscle, okay? Like, <laughs> I'm coming for y'all motherfuckers at the A&W. Oh I'm coming. Why he said, two cheeseburgers? <laughs> two cheeseburgers? He already had me fucked up from day one. It he was, did. She was, our, first of all, when we first pulled up, she was already tripping. <laughs> talking about, uh, I don't know what she told him, but I recorded her at the last minute. Let me show y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Look who came to see me and she even. over here regulating on the speaker. Oh boy, you ain't finna fuck my food up, boy. <laughs> All y'all need to do is hear. Y'all don't even gotta see. She was already tripping from the, the get go. And then they go get that bullshit. Y'all y'all wanted me to come back tomorrow. I bet they have a surprise awakening when a bitch pull in line with two burgers, OC, and pink. Give me some chicken, bitch. I'm starving. Wait, I just want to know. <laughs> you know the burgers been sitting out all day. Because, bitch, they look like two hours, three, four. Hours the fuck old. That's why. <laughs> you motherfuckers know, been out since 10 this morning. You served that shit to us. Bitch, you wanted me to act up. They wanted me to act up. Period. But I just had to start the vlog off telling that story because the goddamn burgers was sitting right here and it pissed me off looking at the bitches again. <laughs> why they don't know I'll be there at the crack of dawn. I will. Right. But, anyways, there's so much crazy shit going on right now. Like, it's the world is just crazy. And honestly, I got. I ain't been giving y'all no vlogs or no opinions and nothing, just my Instagram story. But I feel like there's a few subjects that need to be talked about. And I want to discuss Will and Jada. Okay, so. Entanglement. <laughs> <laughs> the bitch, not That's an album, song. you know the soundtrack? That is my song. <laughs> it's who made the song. I never heard it. Play it. August. Athena. Wait, he made it after they made Straight Clown. He made it after they made the thing. Yes. <laughs> That's how you know he. Let me hear it, bitch. You know I only got the free shit. He must. Uh, 
That pussy must be good. That pussy good, good, good Jada. Put that pussy on me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, so okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm rapping need, on that song. Bitch, I need all the insights. So he I made that though. after their table talk. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Because it was like a video of her talking about talking to Will, talking to Yeah, about the table us. talk. It was just an entanglement. entanglement. Yeah. So this nigga, <laughs> what a song. Bitch, it was a relationship, and I still want that puss. He mad about it. Entangling the sheets. <laughs> no, it don't come with a relationship. But you still fucking with me. <laughs> Let me find out, Denisha, and some of the praise. No, I love that song, bitch. When I find out about it, that's how you know I'm messy. Okay, so here's the thing. I never even knew that they were getting accused of fucking around. So it was crazy when he came out and said it. It was almost, do you feel like he said it because he wanted clout? But then, because nobody knew, bitch, they messed around five, eight years ago, bitch. He said this on a also new. Also, wasn't recently. No, bitch, he messed around with her and dated her when him and when her and Will were on a break. They were on like a break, and this was years ago. August just recently did an interview with Angela Yee and brought it up on the interview. Yeah, now, so some people kinda... are saying he did it for clout because his career was messed up because he was walking around here. Like a you cat hair or something like well, that. Well, he was sick. Or yeah, maybe. Yeah, they said he was sick. They said he was on drugs. You feel me? So they do you feel like he did it for clout? Yeah, I that, feel like he, he did, did it, it to be messy, nigga. I'm gonna keep it a whole stack, August. You know, I love your though. fine ass, nigga. Benediction was my song, Woo! nigga. What? Let me tell you. I love this shit remix. What? I forgot. I love this shit probably. I don't know what song it was. But I was love a, this shit. No, no, no. It was though. another one. And I love. I loved him. Benediction. He is so. You still sexy, but August, you know, you know, you Woo! did that because you just wanted to stir the pot, okay? Because we didn't need to know in 2020 with the and Black Lives Matter, Jada. with motherfuckers dying, with yeah. the Corona, I that you I was dating Jada. We could have went <laughs> no, without knowing that. they was having a <laughs> tangle. <laughs> And that's her telling. Gay. And you big mad because she ain't claiming it. You made no. a whole song. But I like at the end of the day, I feel so bad. embarrassed and bad for real like, sick. Regardless to whatever the case is, like they were on a break, they were separated. Mm -hmm. She was able to do whatever she wanted to do. Right. I guess you fucked up. Yeah. Because and then you, but he not only like said they was like dating. He made it seem like Will was okay with it. Yeah. Like on some like they've already been rumored to be swingers. On some weird like shit. they've already been rumored to be swingers. People say that all the time. Their relationship pictures just fucked up. Yeah. Exactly. Period. So. They he just and I just feel like it was and fucked I up. just fucked it up yeah even more yeah it was fucked up I mean as funny as it is to us to say entanglement in every sentence <laughs> yeah because it's just like bitch you's a sick bitch yeah. I love you Jada I do it and I don't want so you beautiful yes and but then you, that, and then you could have just said that was my nigga right <laughs> you, or that was my little boo thing or you whatever feel me? and then the part and that makes me even more funny and like more interested is that this nigga is young yes. Yeah, she was fucking on that young dude. Uh huh. And he got sprung off that young pussy. Y'all know what this? Uh, <laughs> this old he got pussy. Sprung off that old, old pussy. pussy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I say young pussy. Y'all know what this old pussy here? No, hit, like. for real. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know. Y'all already so know. Look great. at my last blog, Confessions of a Cougar. Y'all know I like him. Yeah. Oh my god. You know what? Like, I never ever was into young boys. Like, that's one thing I just. It wasn't it wasn't for me, but you know, like I was in a long relationship, and we went our separate ways for a little while, and I met this dude, <laughs> and like he told me how old he was, and I'm like, mm -mm. and then it happens to be like <laughs> a he bitch, put it the fuck on you, a bitch got. <laughs> 
What did I say? You little dick younger than me. I mean, not you little no, dick. not even little dick. You young dick niggas. Yeah. Your dicks be big. Let's correct that. And then y'all be so mature. Like, yes. Damn. Be ready to you know snatch a bitch right the fuck And I'm not up. trying to say that we don't have no good man our age, because we do. But these young I'm niggas, these young <laughs> niggas are very, Winning. very mature. Yep. And she's my age, mind you. Actually, 29. Yeah, you're, but you I'm like two are like, months a, older yeah, than you. yeah, like two months older than me. So, you know... For her, she could do whatever she want to do. She ain't got no kids. But <laughs> for me, it's like, damn, nigga, like, I like low key feel, was feeling you, but my baby's six, mm. and you, twenty three. Mm. <laughs> I mm. don't know, like mm. <laughs> he will raise the baby. That's what they willing no. to do. Well, I got so, a couple step kids. Hey, kids. I, I be forgetting. <laughs> Shout out my old. steps. Period. <laughs> I be forgetting how old he is because he's so mature. Right. So, yeah. I mean, I get age ain't nothing but a number. Baby broke out his <laughs> <laughs> What's that one by Pretty Ricky? Um, yeah, age ain't nothing but a number. Ain't, ain't, but no, Aaliyah sing one too? She has. Cause she had one, cause she was messing with R. R Kelly. Kelly. Yep, he wrote it for her with his sick ass. AJ, nothing but a mm-hmm. number. And then that other one, I don't know how that go, but I'm trying to tell you, look, we over here talking about cougars and shit. R. Kelly was a. <laughs> that nigga was a cold piece of work. R. Kelly, boy, how dare you? Ke- you kept trying to get out of jail, talking about you scared of the COVID. Really? They won't, yeah, girl. Every day they were saying that he was trying to get out of the jail, bitch. We had us. We were talking about that at work today. Oh God, well, I was work. I work at the prison, and this um, man I work for OSHA. He came out. And he was like, "We got people like writing letters <laughs> saying that they won't they, the inmates, which is a family, to get out of jail." But how you want your talking about due to the COVID? <laughs> How you want your family to get out of jail due to the COVID when your family killed <laughs> killed somebody, murdered somebody? Talking about this man murdered mm-hmm. his stepdad because he was molesting molesting his sister. Okay, you have every right, like you have every right that you did that, but you think they're gonna let you out of prison <laughs> for COVID? <laughs> Now, now you was you a mailman person <laughs> who was committing fraud. And you had ten years and you served four years. Then you asked to get out due to COVID. You're not any harm to the world. Yeah, but you <laughs> murdered somebody, my nigga. You want to get out due to COVID? <laughs> no. Okay, I caught COVID before. You gonna be okay? Oh my God, Denisha, I'm glad you brought this up because yeah. me and Bridget, you're gonna be okay. Shout out, shout out, uh, uh, B, shout out, Benzie. We was just talking about you should do a vlog <laughs> talking about how you caught COVID, <laughs> and that is gonna be on the caption. She really had, yeah, I caught. She COVID. had COVID. Tell and us I, a little uh, bit about that. A lot of people, started off as a lot of people blog. hit me up like to this day. I wasn't embarrassed. A lot of people are <laughs> this embarrassed. This bitch told the world. My thing is, why are you? In, for one, I'm in the medical field, so I was gonna catch it either way I go. There was like, I I wasn't gonna be able to run from it. And for two, I'm not embarrassed because shit, everybody gonna catch that shit one day. And if you don't, then you're just blessed because your body just, your immune system just strong. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, I caught it. Um. It was crazy because God is so amazing because I caught COVID and I live with my baby daddy and my daughter who's six years old and was in the house with me. She was in the house yep. with me like this yep. close. She yep. touched I me. I forgot that. She yep. touched I me today. I, I, I wasn't tested. feeling good and I didn't even know I had it. And I was, she's like, bitch, you got a fever. You got COVID. I'm like, no, but I'm going to go get tested tomorrow. I just thought I had a cold for going swimming with my homegirls the day before that. And then coming home drunk, fell asleep. With my bathing suit on and everything. AC blowing. Because I keep my AC at like 70 degrees. But it happens to be I went and I got checked for COVID. And I was positive. And my baby daddy and my daughter live in the house with me. They didn't catch it. Mm. So, you know, the day that I found out though, I got my daughter out. And I sent her with my grandparents. But I had it for 10 days. I you had started feeling better though after like three or four. 
I right? did like the sixth day. Oh, okay. I was up practicing nails because I caught myself trying to wanting to do nails when I was in quarantine or whatever. But I had a fever. I had the chills. Um, I wasn't eating. I had lost ten pounds, and um, I'm a pretty thick girl. But I had lost some weight, and when I got a quarantine, gave me right back. <laughs> See, that's the shit. I'll be sick. And um, uh, <laughs> it just like. It was miserable. Like, I cried one day. Like, I was in a car, and I I think it was so much of fear because around that time, people was like, oh, if you get it, you're going to die. So, in my head, I didn't know what was going on. And then, like, it felt like when I breathed, my lungs was burning, and I was mm. just crying because, like, I don't wish that on my enemy. COVID is no joke. So, a lot of people do not. Some people don't make it. So, you know, you never know if you're that person that's going to make it or recover. And so when I caught it, I didn't think, oh, I'm going to, I wasn't thinking I'm going to die, but I wasn't thinking like, oh, I just know that I'm going to recover. I'm going to be good. I just kind of just was like on faith at the point, at that point, just like praying, you know, talking to God because I had to quarantine in my room and I was in my room literally just like with the door closed FaceTime and my friends, that was the only social life I had. And then um, just be careful, like, because right now it's just terrible. And I don't even know how I caught it because I had hand sanitizer. Uh, what's the spray? Lysol. Lysol. I got some right now. Like, I kept it on me. Gloves because I was working in the medical field. Mask. And I, I slipped up somewhere. I don't know if I went to the grocery store and touched my phone and was always messing with my eyelashes i don't know but be careful because covid is no joke and some people like she might you never know she could be immune like her immune system is good because we was drinking out the same alcohol bottle the day before that like hitting us well yeah <laughs> yeah all that so like some people just don't catch it and like I said, my daughter's dad lived in the house with me, and he didn't catch it either. But anyways, uh, I'm just did happy Rob that I tested? recovered. He did. He mm. got. He ended up getting tested like seven days after, cause it, in his head he started feeling like he was sick. We started thinking, and I was like, <laughs> you, need to, you need to get checked because my baby got to come home, and she not finna come home and catch that, right? Because you, whatever. So he got tested. He didn't have it, and so she came home. So I just thank God that I was the only one who caught it, and yeah. So y'all just be careful out there, cause that shit ain't no joke. And a lot of people will be partying, and y'all lucky, like for real. I be looking at my Snapchat like, damn, this bitch be at every fucking uh function in yep. Nashville. This bitch yep. be at Martin Luther King Park. This <laughs> bitch be everywhere with no mask okay. don't even own a mask <laughs> and still ain't caught covid like i need your immune system right because bitch i caught it with a mask a scuba <laughs> diving suit bitch. gloves life salt <laughs> going to the gas pump putting gloves on people looking at me like i'm crazy yeah and and bitches just doing what they want going out and they fucking who it. they want putting their mouth on whoever dick and go home to their kids, bro. Like, kids that's the kids, most. Yo, yeah. I know you bitches is out here doing something. I know y'all out here doing something <laughs> to these niggas. But it's crazy, though, because well. these niggas are sick, too. I'll tell you about them. I will. These yeah. niggas are niggas sick. Niggas are sick, too. They are baby sick. Baby daddies are sick, too. Yes, And they you know, are. baby mamas are sick, too. Yes. And uh, everybody, babe, everybody relationship is different. Yep. Like they baby mama and they baby daddy. Yep. And... In 2020, it's hella toxic relationships when it comes to baby daddies and baby mamas. Yeah. And it just comes to a point where you just get used to it and comfortable with it. Or you just kind of just like, you get tired and fed up. and you Or you grow up. And I'm kind of just like, I'm 29 and I was with my baby daddy since I was 17. So, I'm kind of to the point where I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. Ha <laughs> ha, that And ball. so, 
you know, I'm not going to worry about what he's doing. I'm out here working right now and send Raphael at the prison. You think I care what he's doing right now? I don't because he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and that doesn't make it okay for that a point. man to cheat because he know I ain't playing those games. So, but at the same time, I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to worry about it. It comes to a point where you got to worry about your money. And your pussy, your pussy. Take that motherfucker to the gynecologist, your bitch. Because you bitches don't get checked for AIDS. Yes. And I'm going to call it out. And you hoes so, ain't out here getting checked for AIDS. nobody got time to just be around here stressing right. over dick. Yep. That's why I done left you niggas in the dust. Everybody, and I want to clear something up too since we're here and we have this platform. I want to clear something up because I've been hearing a lot of different things, different things, um, opinions, whatever. Right. I am an interviewer i interview rappers yeah not only rappers but majority of the time i interview rappers so i am a fan of people's music right. regardless to what everybody that i've interviewed i am a fan of their music right i want to put that out there every last one of them so it's like at the end of the day if you see me reposting something or retweeting something nine times out of ten um gonna interview that person i've already interviewed that person or they the homie so it's like people just lately ever since i started doing these interviews just try to like throw me in categories like i'm not out here fucking all the rappers that i'm interviewing i'm not out here fucking none of the rappers i wish some of y'all would give me some dick who want to give me some dick because i know some of y'all will give it but until then Hold your breath, bitch, before you die. Because guess what? I'm not fucking nobody. Yeah. So you guys think because I'm out here and I have a platform. Right. And I'm out here interviewing a bunch of rappers. And I might, you feel me, put hard eyes on a picture. If a rapper, fine, I'm going to let it be known. I don't give a fuck if I interviewed him or not. I'm a real female at the end of the day. Period. So if, if a rapper's fine, I'm going to let that be known. If I fuck with his music, I'm going to let that be known. At the same time, he's going to sit right here next to me on some professional shit and get his interview and not this pussy. Right. So stop trying to make it seem like because I've all of a sudden hit a certain platform or a certain amount of people that I've been interviewing that I just gotta be fucking on everybody. And everything is not about dick and pussy. No, it's Some not. y'all really need to grow, grow up. Grow up because like, I don't even get the urge to fuck you niggas no more like that. I'm gonna keep it real. No. Okay, I can go, you feel me, go get Mr. Dildo Dude. Even though I ain't <laughs> never did that either. I ain't never used the no, Dildo. No, we ain't even gonna play with Dildo Dude. We gonna keep Dildo Dude where he at. We need the real deal. That you feel me? Dick. <laughs> you feel me? See, we can't even do it with Dildo Dude. Bitches no. will go it out before we do Mr. Dildo yeah. Dude. Dil Mr. Dildo is not finna work. No, not for me. I need no. a nigga. Oh, right. <laughs> but it's just like, I ain't been worried. I ain't been checking for nobody like that. But it's like, yeah, I have to clear that up because, mm -hmm. and a lot of, I know a lot of you bitches gonna be hating too. And I wanna tell y'all something. And a lot of something. people are gonna think that anyways because right. it's just the fact that. This is just who she is. Like, people need to accept that. Everybody <laughs> has their own character and their own... And that's, this is who she is. She cool. She can hang out with niggas. This is who she is. Like, this is this is has, this has been her since we've been young. Mm -hmm. So, just because she interviewing different niggas, that does not mean that pussy has to be given up. Thank you. And so, people need to stop thinking like that. Exactly. She's just a cool-ass bitch. She cute. Whatever she just that's just her so if she want to give interviews to a thousand niggas that don't mean she giving her pussy up exactly. and if she decides to give her pussy up to 500 of those thousand niggas that's not y'all business mm -hmm. period mind your business and worry about you let her worry about her yeah that's just how it works yes and this is coming from my friend that's been my friend since seventh grade you heard it you heard it right here stop worrying about other people's pussy I've worry been about the same your bitch. own and go get a check bitch because i know you ain't got a check right something. i don't period care. why are you worried about somebody else's pussy <laughs> i mean like even if she fucking do you get and I it's mean, crazy because I've been hearing Are it you from, benefiting off of her having sex? Right. I've been hearing it more <laughs> from other rappers than anything. It's not even females. Oh. It's other rappers that are mad so at each the other. Dudes? The niggas are mad at each other. I've gotten blocked. I've gotten deleted. I've gotten told, why are you talking to this rapper on Twitter? I ain't never even met the rapper. Wow. I can't be a fan of another rapper but i guess i hit a no a, comment a caliber because i do okay i don't know you feel me how the, the cards are going to turn out whatever the case is but 
Everybody thinks I'm a date a rapper, probably because I interview people. I don't know. I might date a businessman. I might date the trash man, like the mailman. I don't give a fuck if you, you might a real date ass a nigga. nurse. Exactly. You might date a correction officer. You feel me? Because I work at the prison and um that part. I'm like, hey, you know what? I got a friend. Mm-hmm. Either, you feel you me? might date anybody. Exactly. So, but people always think, think it, may, it could possibly be. They think that a rapper. So because of that. I'm cool with a lot of rappers. Yeah. They do try to get at me. Yeah. Like if if people looked at my de- I direct can see messages, you dating a rapper. Yeah, text That's messages. Just like your speed. <laughs> yeah, on God. Like yeah. so, some rappers. I have to remember that these niggas don't like each other. But I don't know who beef. <laughs> Let me put that out there too. I don't know who beef with everybody. I don't know. So like, if I just started talking to you and stuff, and I've already been listening to another nigga's music. You can't be mad at me because you personally got beef with that nigga. Right. Like, let me know, like, free, I don't fuck with that nigga. You feel me? And if I, if you're somebody I want to fuck with, then that loyalty will fall in place. You won't mm-hmm. even got to press your issue. But yes, girl, it has not been females. Females haven't been coming at me crazy. I've been getting little raggedy bitches comments and weird stuff on, like, the niggas pages that I interviewed. Because they're jealous because I'm interviewing the niggas that they fans of. But it's just an interview. And that's what nobody seems Dang, to get. So with this whole like yes. video and stuff, it's just all like you be having people comment on here. Yes. But you know what? Or they'll comment on the posts it's, on Insta. They'll comment like Denisha don't be care about social media like that. So she don't really know how it works. People in this world. Mm-hmm. And people may comment on here and say negative stuff, but at the end of the day, we really don't care. We don't give a flying fuck because bitch. we <laughs> Just like you saying something, we can say something about you. Period. Exactly, and you know, and you most see of you a lot of people are fucking and sucking to even get in the party, bitch. And I'm pulling up with the a camera. A lot of people <laughs> commenting on famous people stuff. People are so sad. Like I see people comment on famous people stuff about their kids. Like some people really are. Sick. Mentally sick. And it's like, what do you get out of that? The only bitch I'm clowning is a bitch I don't like. Yeah. Period. I'm not finna sit but there and give another bitch that energy. Way. I don't care if you look like Beyonce. I don't care if you look like Fantasia. I don't care what you look like. That's not cute. Like, no. being negative all the time. It makes it seem like you have something wrong within yourself. Mm-hmm. Just let people be them. Like, yep. that's all, you know? We I'm all are entitled to our own opinion, and we all feel how we feel about people. But sometimes some negative stuff is just not meant mm-hmm. to say. It's not. I mean, do you get paid for it? Right. Do you get paid to talk about what I do? Speaking of pay, <laughs> so what's going on with these EDD rollies? <laughs> A bitch is jealous. Me I'm too, bitch. No, I'm not. Too, I'm not gonna sending that. nobody Listen. prison for Listen. ten thousand dollars. Thank you. I I'm not work. gonna be in Chachilla getting broomstick by Diablo. I watch Scary <laughs> Strange. No. She's still in that motherfucker. Just to touch. And I'm not trying to insult anybody, but ten grand is not a lot. Or whatever it is that you're getting. No, for the EDD, they getting like eighteen thousand. The ten grand was a loan thing. For the EDD, they getting like eighteen thousand. How's they getting that? Scamming and scheming. It's not. I guess. It's not worth it. I don't know. If you get away with it, listen. I'm it's cool. It is. It is. The it's IRS is a tricky motherfucker. They'll come for everything. Nigga, the IRS will take your eyeballs and mouth, bitch, if they could. I and they're even, not giving them back. One time, I caught myself trying to be sneaky because I was on EDD and <laughs> I had got a job and I was like, I only got one payment left, so oh well. Like I'm gonna just get it. Do you work? No. Ooh, ooh, okay. Got the money, got my check. I thought I was cool. Guess what they did? They came and got my income tax, okay? <gasps> the whole thing? No. They oh. just had, I only owed them six, but they just took the sh- I'm like, why am I missing $600? And they said, you know, they garnished my, they took my money. The IRS. So, with these big amount of monies. They're going to come out of your taxes. Good luck. But if you get away with it, Do your you did that. But if you don't, it's not even worth it. Some people ain't never had a job to even get taxes. And if you so ain't those never are the had a ones job, that are gonna get away with you're it. lucky. Those are the ones. But at the same time, you're not lucky because who wants to not no have a job? <laughs> I know a bitch. She ain't got no job. Ooh, that I know a bitch. <laughs> she ain't got no job. She ain't got no job. <laughs> 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 but you know what? 
that bitch got rolling in a foreign car and she got like oh hella, i know who this hella bitch chains is. on her <laughs> neck like damn girl like I know that's EDD. And I'm not <laughs> even hating. Like, you got a bitch low key, like, want to do it. But then it's just like, I thought about it and I'm like, yeah, you got those chains, you got all that, but you don't have no type of income. So at the end of the day, you're not going to keep that shit. No. Because you're going to get to the point where you need some money and you're going to pond it. And then we ain't going to see it no more. Yeah. So why get stuff like that? Where you're not working for it. Because when you're not working for it, you don't keep it. Nope. Real shit. I and mean, when you yes. ain't never had nothing, you, you don't know gone. how to keep it. No. You ain't never had nothing. You go through shit like like you changing your panties. Just, mm -hmm. damn bitch, don't you used to have that type of... Damn bitch, you got a new car every year. Damn bitch, you got... Damn bitch, have you, you ever kept nothing. anything? Have you, you don't paid have nothing off? off. Do like, you have anything in your name? We're getting too grown for that. Motherfuckers think that shit is cute. And that's why I'm... Mm -hmm. So, karma comes back and bites you in the ass. Because I done did some shit. I'm not perfect. And that shit came back and bit. I'll never tell. <laughs> no, hell no. Nah. So, but we just wanted know. to give y'all a little bit of game. I definitely had to get my bestie on a vlog. Right. You feel me? Before she becomes... A uh, future nurse <laughs> at the prison and the bitch can't do nothing <laughs> no more. Well, she's already a CNA, but you feel me? I, I definitely had to get you on a vlog. Mm -hmm. And we had to and discuss some things. And, it, and the people that are positive, pray for your girl. Because I got to take my test in September to be a nurse. I need all the prayers. The and people that are positive. <laughs> I need the pe the prayer, prayer warriors. Pray for your girl. Because mm -hmm. I need, I'm about to be 30. In December, a bitch is trying to buy a house. Mm. A bitch trying to get a Camaro. Or trying, a bitch trying to do big things. <laughs> I'm talking. I'm cussing. God, please forgive me. But girl, just bitch pray boo, for she me. Cuss. <laughs> the fuck? We talking about God? Look, look. 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 Get on the perch. <laughs> you don't have to be perfect. Y'all don't never see me like this on the vlog, huh? This is what hey, y'all want, huh? This is who hey, I really am, let me okay? Get, let me give her uh, some music, because it's fun about to die, but... And then we're going to end the vlog real yeah, quick. Yeah, we're going to end it, because it's time to go to sleep, because the bitch got to go to work tomorrow, and she got to go chill with her friends. Ah, <laughs> friends, you heard that? Look, this, this one right here, this one's time. Hey! Hey, hey! What? Uh, what? Ah. Mind you, I'm standing on the chair. Hey, hey, what? Hey, you is your turn, man. Hey, come on. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh. Hey, let me smile. Hey, hey, hey. What? Hey. 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 What? Love y'all.